Hello, I'm Viet Cường. You're watching Taiwan News. Let's take a look at today's headlines. Delegation of East Meets West organization visits Taiwan. Training on international economic integration. Preserving and honoring spiritual values on Chiang Sai. On the morning of May 9th, Mr. Dang Viet Thuan, Vice Chairman of Taiwan Provincial People's Committee, and other local government departments and branches met with a delegation from East Miss West Non-Governmental Organization on the project of water supply and sanitation. During the meeting, the participants discussed and suggested methods on how to implement the project output-based aid in clean water and sanitation in rural areas. This project is allotted with a capital of $700,000, which is disbursed in installments. Objectively, this project will upgrade and expand water project and develop more effective sanitary measures for the impoverished. Objectively, this project will upgrade and expand water project and develop more effective sanitary measures for the impoverished. To create sustainable effectiveness in the future, the project will apply output-based aid, which means subsidy will be granted in the implementation process and will be given the complete payment after the work acceptance test. At the end of the meeting, Mr. Dang Viet Thuan stated that this is an important project that will be integrated with a new rural construction program to bring a highest efficiency result. In the coming time, the province and the East Mist West organization will sign a memorandum on the project implementation in which the province is the agency of governing and directing the project. In order to implement the national target program on clean water and environmental sanitation in rural areas during the period 2013-2015, Taiwan province allotted nearly 540 billion Vietnam dong for its realization. This huge amount is divided into different sectors. The capital source from the central budget is nearly 290 billion Vietnam dong. From local budget is over 30 billion Vietnam dong, and from businesses and citizens' mobilization is nearly 100 billion Vietnam dong. The province will spend more than 290 billion Vietnam dong on the construction of water supply projects. 50 billion Vietnam dong on water supply and sanitation in schools, and more than 25 billion Vietnam dong on building sanitation walls for care bans. The rest will be used to improve the water supply infrastructure in rural areas. By the end of 2013, the province targets that 78% to 95% of rural population will have clean water, while 100% of the main primary schools, communal health stations in the province will enjoy adequate clean water and sanitary latrines, and 65% of livestock producers and farming households will own sanitary cattle bands and latrines. On May 10, the Taiwan Department of Trade and Industry, in collaboration with the Taiwan National Committee for International Economic Cooperation, organized a training and workshop on the issues of international economic integration. At the meeting, participants were briefed about the Vietnamese economic situation after five years of joining the World Trade Organization WTO, by economic presenters and reporters. They will also provided information on free trade agreement, FTA, and the participation of Vietnam. To date, Vietnam and the ASEAN economic community have been involved in six regional free trade agreements and two bilateral free trade agreements with Chile and Japan. The free trade agreements have promoted reforms and restructured the economy, facilitated Vietnam's stable and faster export growth. In the future, the localities should be more active in capturing information on Vietnam's participation in FTA, from which action plans should be built to make FTA strategy suitable to economic realities in the province, implementing the provincial economic targets, providing jobs, and improving income. Yamaha Motors Company is an acclaimed and a household name for most travelers nationwide. As a part of his program to show gratitude to his clientele, Vietnam Yamaha Motors Company has recently provided customers care activities in Taiwan. 
to show its appreciation, last May 11th, a musical night with the theme "Live with Yamaha" was held in Taiwan City Center. For years, Yamaha Dealer Network in Taiwan has become a trusted fellow traveler for Taiwan residents. As a sign of gratitude, a team of energists and technicians from this company provided a free oil change service, safe driving guides for hundreds of customers. Simultaneously with the monumental musical night "Live with Yamaha," that gave the audience a vibrant and colorful musical feast. In addition to developing trademark and promoting business and production, Yamaha Company has also organized other meaningful social activities. In the program framework, Yamaha donated five million Vietnam dong to Taiwan Disadvantaged Children Education School and ten million Vietnam dong to the Loving Arms Fund of Taiwan Radio and Television Station. And now let's continue our series of reports on Trường Sa. Following the mission number four, today we'll explore the special symbols on history, culture, and spirituality on Trường Sa, such as the Memorial House to President Ho Chi Minh, the Memorial Steel to the Heroic Martyrs, and the Pagodas on Trường Sa. These works made the army and the people on the archipelago feel really warm and attached to the mainland. As a general rule, the delegations to Trường Sa deferentially burned incense in the spots symbolizing the history, culture, and spirituality, such as the statue of Royal Highest General Trần Quốc Tuấn on Song Tử Tây Island, the memorial to the heroic martyrs, and the memorial house to President Ho Chi Minh on Trường Sa Lớn Island, all surrounded by myriads of water waves. Visiting these places, everyone developed a deeper sense of peace. Pride and gratitude to their elders for their sacrifices for the nation. There are now three pagodas in Trường Sa, namely Song Tử Tây Pagoda, Sinh Tôn Pagoda, and Trường Sa Lớn Pagoda, which were built in the traditional style with one main compartment and two lean-tos. Each pagoda has its own distinctive appearance. Built in a rather isolated location of the islands, Song Tử Tây Pagoda is the largest. Its space seems to be enlarged in the direction from the triple refuge, facing the sea with the refreshing canopies of green leaves in the front yard. The small pagoda on the island of Sington gave us an amazing impression of the poetic beauty, relaxing peace, and purity in our souls. Trường Sa Lớn Pagoda, located at Trường Sa Town Center, along with the memorial to the heroic martyrs and the memorial house to President Ho Chi Minh, made a complex yet special architecture. With the attention of the party and state, the Vietnam Buddhism has restored the pagodas on this archipelago, enriching the spirituality of the people who pray for the heroic martyrs, wishing for a prosperous Vietnam and for the happy life of the people on the archipelago. Notably, the pagodas all face Hanoi. Stepping through the gates of the pagodas, we profoundly felt the spiritual beauty and purity of the Vietnamese people on the remote islands. We all still had a strong feeling of warmth, peace, and holiness besides the sounds of the waves lapping. I experienced a very special but familiar and sacred feeling when I first visited the pagodas on Trường Sa Archipelago. Never can I forget visiting and burning incense in each of the pagodas. The pagodas and other cultural and historical works on the archipelago of Trường Sa, from the traditional and spiritual beauty of the islands, and lessen the homeness of the army officers and the soldiers, as well as the residents here, encouraging them to protect the archipelago. That's the reason why the creeds of the Vietnamese people are always preserved and promoted. In this sacred archipelago, and in the news programs to come, we will continue introducing more reports on the journey of the mission number four, Vietnamese People Navy to Trường Sa Archipelago. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye.